All right, I guess that's it for the day. Thanks everyone who's watching right now. I really appreciate it. Have a good one and I see you on the next session. Maybe sometime in the future. We're gonna continue doing things. We're gonna continue doing recreation programming. Programming just for fun. You know, as usual, because it's fun. This is really fun to program, actually. We're kind of starting to forget all of that. Uh, especially with all of the bullshit that we have to deal in in the industry right so because programming this day like commercial programming this day is just like dealing with a lot of artificial complexity that have has nothing to do with the problem that you're solving right so configuring the web build it's like the, the thing here's an interesting thing like javascript is a dynamic language right and having a build step for a dynamic language already sounds like oxymoron like that's kind of the point of a dynamic language that shouldn't shouldn't have any build steps or anything like that it's just like yeah you have the lack of static typing of a scripting language and you have the build step of a statically typed language you literally have the worst of both worlds how does that fucking make any sense <laughs> like imagine that like how how does that make any fucking sense and all of that is completely arbitrary completely artificial it's just like and people are paid huge amount of money just to deal with that because nobody wants to deal with that mm. Tell me about that. My joy is killing my program manager. I wonder if the industry is actually gonna kill itself this this way, right? Because it created an environment where people don't enjoy programming, so people will just stop programming, and the industry will just you know destroy itself. But at the same time, maybe the idea is that not to have any programmers, right? So maybe we're gonna be replaced by uh, things like you know codex i mean the, the the model behind the github copilot but for what i saw those models do not particularly program well uh but what's funny it, here's another thing um nobody expects software to work in 2022 right so the way programming is going to be automated is the quality, the expectation of the software are gonna be put so low, you will be able to create software by a random number generator and everyone's gonna be fine with that. Because nobody expects this shit to work anyway. Just roll a dice. And that's basically what we're doing with all this AI modeling anyway. <laughs> right, because like, Imagine like program actually working without restart or anything like that. Like you cannot imagine that. Like that's too expensive. Right? Imagine writing a program that doesn't crash after using for five minutes. Just like look, what kind of an expert do we need to have? Like holy shit, we cannot afford such experts. No. Let's just like use a random number generator to just like generate a bunch of bullshit and which we're gonna restart every time it crashes. So, <laughs> so I don't quite understand what's gonna be the end goal for using AI in programming. So the probably end goal is gonna be that like anyone without even programming experience is gonna be able to tell the computer, okay, do that thing and the computer will just do that thing. Oh, uh, all right. So essentially, we need a translator from a human language to a computer language. But what's interesting is that any programmer will tell you that uh, the manager, right, or the product owner, project owner, whatever the fuck they call them these days, they require you something, and you can clearly see that they have no idea what they're talking about. 
this situation is not gonna change if you if you replace programmer with AI. All of the people responsible for the decisions are not gonna magically know and understand what needs to be done. <laughs> If anything, this situation may get in, in even worse. But anyway, I don't care. I don't program for money anyway. I program as a cre recreational activity. I program for the same reason people play chess, even though chess is already automated. So there are AIs that are better than chess, but people still play chess. Why did they do that? There's a reason why they do that. And I program for the same reason. For the same reason people still play chess. Mm. They might get to see why, why what these are saying make no sense without being able to blame developers. And by the way, that could be the last job security we're going to have. Imagine, like, this is so weird. Imagine, like, developers are never gonna lose their job because the managers will always need an escape code. Holy fucking shit, that is so funny and sad at the same time. Uh... Wow, that's an interesting thought, actually. <laughs> because, yeah, again, if they get rid of the developers, they basically become developers. You're replacing like a very uh, formal, standardized, strict language with an informal, with non-deterministic compiler. Right. So. Uh, mm -mm. And now you don't have anyone to blame for it. Mm -mm. All right. That's it for the day. Thanks everyone who watched Merlin. Really appreciate it. Have a good one, and I see you in the next recreation programming session.